Oh my god. Today I just wanted to film an easy classic holiday glam video. The holidays are coming up and I just wanted to give you like a classic holiday look for if you're going to go to a holiday party. The eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be using today is the Morphe 15N. It has really, really beautiful neutral colors and also a few more daring tones, if you will. I do have the 39A palette, which I have been using a lot. If you go to my Instagram, pretty much every look that I've done on there, I've been using this eyeshadow palette. 39A is pricier than the 15N. I believe this one's only $15, or maybe like, I think this one's like $13. Um, I'm going to have everything linked down below, so you can check it out for yourself. And along with the Morphe eyeshadow palette, I'm also going to be using the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Midnight. As you can see, it's a very, very beautiful color. But anyways, yeah, this is the color that we're going to be using on our lid today. I'll go ahead and do my brows, and then I'll be right back so we can get started on the eye look. Okay, so I went ahead and did my eyebrows, and I went ahead and did one eye off camera just because... I didn't want to mess up on camera. To prime my eyes, I used to use a light colored concealer, but I felt like I was almost getting, you know whenever you have the halo brow because you use a concealer that's too light to carve out your brow? Well, I've actually been using my foundation color. That way, I don't know, it just, the blend is a little bit more seamless whenever I use, whenever I prime my eye with something that's already the color of my skin. The first thing I'm going to do is go in with the shade Hello, which is this cool toned brown. We're literally using like three different eyeshadows today, and I think the end result looks really nice. I'm going to take it on my Morphe M433, which is a small blending brush. And starting out, um, you want to just pack it on your outer corner. That way you can get the most pigment there. Next, I'm going to go in with a bigger blending brush, which I'm using the Morphe M441. And I'm going to blend that out, buff it out. Now that that is all blended and nice, I'm going to take the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Midnight, the one that I showed y'all earlier, and I'm going to take that on this small, flat shader brush. It, I don't know where it's from. Now I'm going to spray a little bit of setting spray on it. Wow, that color is so nice. And usually, just because I'm so used to doing a half cut crease all the time, I would only take it on the inner half of my eye, but I'm actually going to put it all over my eye. Okay, then I'm going to go back in with that small blending brush and buff out the edges of that. Then after I buff that out, I'm just going to go back in with that color to just re-intensify it. With that same small blending brush, I'm going to take the color Scene, which is the deep purple. It's the deepest color in the palette. And it's pretty muted, so it's not going to come off purple on the eye. I'm just going to lightly pack that on the outer corner and just kind of mesh it together with the um, super shock shadow that we used. If you want to spice up your eyeshadow a little bit but you're afraid to use glitter because I know that glitter can be really intimidating, um, I would honestly recommend getting the ColourPop super shock shadows. Maybe you can't tell on camera but this eyeshadow is really glittery but I don't have to use glitter glue or anything and there's really no glitter fallout on my face from it because it is a pressed eyeshadow and it's also very comfortable to wear on the lid. I'm going to hit my top lashes with some mascara. For my lashes, I'm going to wear Flutter Lashes in the style Intoxicating. Alright, so for my face, the first thing that I'm going to do is take um, the J1 Jelly Pack primer, or I believe it's a moisturizer, but a lot of people be using it as a primer, and I have dry skin, and I've been using it as well, and I'm really liking it. It leaves a really sticky base on your face so that your foundation, so that your foundation stays on really well. I mean, in general, the all the products that I'm using are pretty affordable, 
So I'm going to take my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. And this one's... <laughs> this one is in the shade W4. I feel like at the drugstore, it's hard to find a good foundation that has like an olive undertone. I recently found out that my undertone is actually not yellow, but it's more olive. Um, yellow foundations tend to look a little orange on me. Neutral foundations look gray. And cool foundations look pink on me. So, yeah. I'm also going to pour some out on this tray. Ooh, okay. That was too much. I'm probably not going to use all of that. So, since I already have my brows done, a, a lot of times um, it's a little difficult to put on your foundation in the areas in between your brows and around and personally for me my hairline is like really close to my eyebrow so if I go in with a sponge I'll either get foundation in my hairline get foundation in my eyebrow or both so what I like to do is just get the same brush that I used to carve out underneath my brows I'll dip it into the foundation put that and then use the foundation that I'm going to use to outline my eyebrows not necessarily to carve them or to make them sharper just to be sure that I can get foundation in those areas without getting it on top of my eyebrows. I like to add the least amount of coverage on my forehead just because I don't really need it up there. Most of the hyperpigmentation that I have is around my cheek area. Oh, you know what? Mm -mm. No, I almost forgot. I've been color correcting my mustache area. So I'm going to take this Maybelline Master Cameo in the shade Apricot and apply that. I'm just going to use this buffing brush to blend it out real quick. And for my concealer, I'm actually going to mix the Maybelline Fit Me concealers in the shade 15 and 20. I'm going to take the opposite end of that sponge and start blending it out. This side of the sponge, I really, really love it. It fits right under my eye perfectly. Now, to set my under eye, I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 10. Um, I think it's like Fair 10. 10 Fair Light. And I'm only going to use that shade right underneath my lash line. I do get creases around my nose no matter what foundation I use. What primer, it always creases. I'm gonna blend that out and take the Maybelline powder in the shade 20 and set that. To set the rest of my face, I'm gonna take this BH Cosmetics V2 brush. I'm gonna lightly powder the rest of my face. Since my skin is more dry um, and I don't do anything to make me sweat, I'm just going to lightly set it. I used to literally bake my whole face, but I realize how unnecessary that is. Now with a really, really small detail blending brush, it's a Morphe M506, I'm gonna go in with that first shade, Hello, and buff that shit out all over my lower lash line. Personally, I have a lot of under eye creases. I'll get whatever transition color that I'm using, and I'll buff it really low on my lash line. Like really low, like I bring that stuff really low just because it makes my eyes, believe it or not, it makes your eyes look a little bit more youthful. You can't really see the under eye creases, especially after you add mascara. For my inner corner highlight now, I'm going to take the ABH, excuse me, for my inner corner highlight I'm going to take the ABH Gleam Glow Kit, which is discontinued, but her sugar glow kit has the shade Starburst, which is my favorite shade to use. And, but actually, I'm going to take the shade Mimosa, just any light gold, it doesn't have to be a highlighter, you can use an eyeshadow, and add that on my inner corners. So for bronzer, I'm going to take this Milani Baked Bronzer in this shade Dolce, or I don't know, Dolce? That doesn't sound right, I think it's Dolce. I'm going to take that shade on a Morphe M527 and put this everywhere. I'm going to take this Smashbox contour palette and I'm going to take the the contour shade for me is too gray so if I put it on my face it'll literally look pink like a blush so I'm going to mix the contour and the bronze shade and that, ma that makes my perfect contour shade so just a little bit here a little bit there tap it off 
And I'm, I'm using the Wet n Wild brush, which, whatever. It's an okay brush, but the brand, not so much. Wow. Oh, wow. I love it. I'm going to take this e.l.f. light blush palette. I'm going to mix the peachy shade and this shade down here. I'm going to take that on a Morphe E4. Just get it up with those. And the way I like to apply my blush is upwards because I have a really big face. So if I just apply it on the apples of my cheek, I feel like it makes my face look... I don't know. I just don't think it, that look looks good on me. So I kind of like to put it like right above my bronzer and mix it in together. And it just, if you don't use blush and you think it don't make a difference, it does make a difference. Please start using blush. Now for highlight on my face, I was going to use my Gleam Glow Kit just because that's the one that I prefer for my skin tone. But since it is discontinued, um, I'm going to take the sun dipped glow kit now i'm gonna mix the shade i'm gonna mix the shade summer and moonstone and let me get into that i think summer is a little bit too yellow but moonstone is really nice so i'm just gonna mix a little bit of those two together and i'm gonna take this on a color pop mm, color pop this doesn't have a name on it but i'll have a link down below as always Just keep adding it wherever. To highlight my nose, I don't like to use this big ass brush because I do have like a wide, like the base of my nose is wide. So if I use this brush, it'll like highlight my whole nose and make it look bigger than what I want it to. So I'm going to take this small brush, the same one I use for my inner corners, and just do the very tip of my nose. Just like that. See? I look really good right now. Alright, so now that my face is done, I can officially move on to my lips. For lip color, I wanted to use one of the three colors from the Dose of Colors Holiday set. First you have Strawberry Pop, which is a very bright red. Then the next color is Bittersweet. You have Strawberry Pop here at the top and Bittersweet right next to it. Finally you have the color Saucy, which is that, which is the last deepest red, which is such a beautiful color. I'm going to go out of my comfort zone and I'm going to take the color Strawberry Pop. I don't usually go for super bright reds. I like the deeper reds, but whatever. We'll just wear it. And then I'm going to take um, a red lip liner. I don't overdraw my bottom lip. I just overdraw the top one. That was everything for the video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and also follow me on my social media links. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Mm. If you don't like problematic stuff, don't follow me on Twitter. Just follow me on Instagram, I post a lot of cool stuff. And I also just started an Instagram page for my client makeup that I do. So now I have my own personal Instagram, and then I have my Instagram where I show my work. And that one is Gabriela Client Makeup. Again, I'll have that link down below. I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you guys in my next video.